When they got up again, a huge cloud of black smoke was hanging where the windmill had been. Slowly, the breeze drifted it away. The windmill had ceased to exist. At this sight, the animals' courage returned to them. The fear and despair they had felt a moment earlier were drowned in their rage against this vile, contemptible act. A mighty cry for vengeance went up, and without waiting for further orders, they charged forth in a body and made straight for the enemy. This time, they didn't need to heed, they didn't need to heed the cruel pellets that swept over them like hail. It was a savage, bitter battle. The men fired again and again, and when the animals got to closer quarters, lashed out with them with sticks in their heavy boots. A cow, three sheep, and two geese were killed, and nearly everyone was wounded, even Napoleon, who was directing the operation from the rear, uh, had, tipped, had the tip of his tail chipped by a pellet. But the men did not go unscathed either. Three of them had their heads broken by blows of boxer's hoof. Another was gored in the belly by a, a cow's horn. Another had his trousers torn off by Jesse and Bluebell. And when the nine dogs of Napoleon's bodyguard, whom he had instructed to make a detour under cover of the hedge, suddenly appeared on the man's flank, the men's flank, baying ferociously, panic overtook them. They saw that they were, they were in danger of being surrounded. Frederick shouted to his men to get out while, they, while the going was good. And the next moment, the cowardly enemy was running for dear life. The animals chased them right down to the bottom of the field and got in some last kicks at them as they forced their way through the thorn hedge. They had won. Mark Sconti reporting. Little animal farm. Did they really win? Did the animals win in their quest to eradicate the oppressor? Maybe for a moment. It's kind of reminiscent of what's going on right now. It's like the pendulum. The pendulum swings both ways. And curious eyes never run dry. Curious eyes never run dry in my opinion. I never will either. I'm on a walk in Washington Square Park. <laughs> I have to say it because then everybody says, where are you, man? Where are you? Washington Square Park. Washington Square Park. So, so are we at a time in, um, in American history where integrity truth, um, hmm, justice, are those things still valid in our country? Do people still believe in them is what I want to, what I want to propose? Because I don't think so. <laughs> I think the last few years of corruption, what we call the deep state, the, the, the deep corruption within one side of these intelligence agencies, and the, you know, the politicians, the Congress, the Senate has caused, a, caused a, a, a riff in America that, I don't know, I think most people know it's there, but they don't know exactly what it is. And just like the animals in Orwell's situation, the rage gets so great and so overwhelming that, that they run right into the pellets, right into the, right into the, into the eye of the enemy. Right into, his, right into his defense or his offense. Right. But what did they win? Did they really win? Did the, did, did the animals on the farm really win? Because Napoleon is navigating from the rear. And then once the animals succeed, the greater pigs take, all the, take the lion's share of the, the uh, treasure. Remember when Trump said that? The, um, the spoils of war go to the winner, or something like that, paraphrase. See, in his eyes, he's the winner. In the eyes of the new deep state, the new guys, right? The old guys was Clapper, 
Clapper, Comey, Brennan. Remember those guys? Obama, Lynch, Hillary. That's the old guard. So now it's replaced with the new guard. That's all. Now you got Barr and, <laughs> and the rest of the jerks. Right? Pompeo, Trump, Pence, Mnuchin, <laughs> Bolton, Elliot Abrams. That's the new swamp. Right? They're chasing them. So, so what, what, what Orwell is, is saying historically is that 99% of us are still on the farm, right? We're on Jones's farm. That's Jones's farm. The animals declare that they want to be free. And they do it for, for a while, right? And they, they rally and they chase the enemy off the, off the property. But then a new guard comes in and gets this funny idea that this could all be mine. This could all be mine. Oh, I know. I was fighting for the, uh, I was fighting for the, for the people. Remember that? But that's, that was, that's historical, right? We're not, we're not just that anymore. Just grab what's, grab, grab it while the going's good. Huh? Cross on the street. So, so the old guard tried the coup, right? They tried to blow up the, they tried to blow up the windmill. And to some degree, they did blow up the windmill. Right? They rigged the elections, right? They rigged the elections. They they uh, they tried to frame. They tried to frame the 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 quote winner, Trump. Tried to frame him as a traitor, Russian spy, Russian agent. Right? The coup failed. Right? The, it, as on the farm, the humans they made an effort. Kids gonna scream for my whole goddamn kids. Shoot water guns. Getting hit with water. God damn, kids. Got no respect. So, the coup failed. Right? But it's the pendulum, right? It's the pendulum. Think of a pendulum that hangs in the middle. And on one side is all the old guard. That's, that's, uh, you know, Comey and McCabe, <laughs> Brennan, Clapper, right? Those guys. On one side, the Clintons, the Saudi, Saudis, all the quid pro quo people right, are on one side of the on one side of where the pendulum swings. It goes this way, right? And on the other side is the new guard, right? Is the other guys, the new the new guard that I mentioned, right? And it just keeps swinging back and forth. Maybe a two year cycle, right? So now what we're seeing is the pendulum swing in the direction of the new guard. They're going to be in control for a while. And you're seeing the old guard run for the door. This guy, Fioro, I love this statue. I'm not recording you, dude. I'm recording me. We get so fucking uptight. So, you want to be on YouTube? Jackie? Jerky, jerky? Don't record me. <laughs> Fucking jerk off. So anyway, so... So the coup failed. <laughs> I'm getting better. I used to get into three fights a day in New York. Now I only get into like... I don't know, once every other... Once a week. <laughs> Kids, dogs. Anyway. So... So one side, the one side of the pendulum is screaming, Impeach him! Impeach, impeach. Everyone who says impeachment, right? Every one of them, right? That's a tell. Everybody who's screaming impeachment is deeply guilty of something. That's why they're doing it. Because there's no, there's no legitimate grounds to do that other than to save your own ass. That's a, so that's a good tell right now. Everybody, who, everybody in mainstream media, all the politicians, that guy, uh, Ger Gerard uh, Nadler, the guy, the old man, just collapsed. He was speaking for the Blasio. He fucking passed out. Old fart. Uh, Hillary Clinton stumbling, stumbling for the door. Remember in 9-11 in, in monuments, she couldn't get <laughs> she visited India, fell down the steps. The fucking people are a mess, right? They're all a mess. But that's the old guard. The old guard is screaming impeach because the new guard is moving in for the kill. Freedom Tower. 
used to be where the World Trade Center was. You could see it perfectly from from this vantage point. Uh, now it's just a Freedom Tower. So, so the pendulum swings. Swing! Pendulum swings left. Swings right. Swing left. Swing right. Uh, where does it stop? Does it stop in the middle? No, it never stops in the middle because that's where the people are. So we're in the center. We're in the middle. We are in the middle. Welcome to the garden. It's a New York City garden. Just walk right in. I don't know where I am. Oh, look, roses. Sometimes you got to stop and smell the roses. Ah. Smells nice. It's pretty cool. Mm. It's like some kind of fig tree or something. Oh, it's got some big bulbs. <laughs> Maybe they're apples, I don't know. What do I know? I'm a city guy. So that pendulum, it swings left, it swings right. It never stops in the middle where the people are. People always get screwed. They get passed over is what I'm trying to say. There's only 1% there's only of the population playing on one side, kicking the ball. It's like they push it one way, push it the other way, you know what I'm saying? And... Um, They never get where they're going. We never get where we're going, is what I was trying to say. Just got distracted by a very, very attractive woman. <laughs> Took my breath away for a second. I was like... <sighs> <clears throat> that happens too in New York. A lot, actually. <laughs> so... <laughs> so what else do I want to say in this ridiculous video? So the facts are well documented. That's what I wanted to talk about. The, fact, the facts are well documented. We know that Russia Gate is a farce. It was a figment of Hillary Clinton's imagination. Right? They, it was an excuse when they got caught when Julian Assange released the the uh, Julian Assange is a great example. Let me just talk about that for a second. Julian Assange is a great example of throwing the animals under the bus. So Julian Assange was leading the charge to force the old guard out. And when the new guard took over, rather than exalt him, they eat him. They put him into slave labor. They, they, they use him as an asset. Betrayal. That's what it is. The story of, of Julian Assange is the story of he's one of the lead animals in the play. And the new guard, rather than exalt him as a friend and as a, an ally, they just disregard him as if, as if you know, he doesn't matter. When in, in actuality, truth, justice, and integrity depends on that guy being given the credit. And not in, not in 10 years, not in five years, not, in, not after his death or in some history book later, but right now. And that's what the new guard, if the new guard had integrity and justice and peace in, in, their, in their mind, rather than just, you know, playing the, um, <laughs> playing the, the pendulum game, uh, they would free him right now. And they would, they, would, they would call on him to become, to be, to be one of them. I usually have pretty thick skin on the street. I don't really care what people think. At least I'm not screaming today. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so. So what else? So, you know. The truth. We know the truth. What is the truth? The truth is that in 2016, March, April, May of 2016, someone stole the DNC emails 
right? And that someone appears to have been Seth Rich. And as in any other casualty of war, he's thrown under the bus, in his case, literally, right? And the blame went on some other fiction, right? So the Clintons make up a story and they blame, they blame Russia. <laughs> and then to double down on the lie, got to confirm the lie. And it was all, all, it was all covered. All of the old guard gave cover, the pendulum, right? Because they were in charge, so they gave cover. They're all on the same team, right? But now when the pendulum swings the other way, you see them fight each, fighting each other. You see them start eating each other. You see them start pointing the finger. No, I didn't do it. He did it. No, what, who, me? I didn't do it. No, no, the other guy did it. Right? No, no, it's not me. It's him. Me? Him? Me? No, it's you. You. You did it. I didn't do it. No, no. I did it. No, you did it. I didn't say that. You said that. <laughs> Impeach him. <laughs> right. It's a good thing, right? I mean, it's, it, it's not really a good thing. See, if it, the best thing... It's the, it's the same thing is what I'm trying to say. What's happening is the same. I know, I know a lot of people roll on sides. They, they get, you get invested in that side. I know, it's hard. I mean, I do this all the time. I talk about this shit every, every single day. I talk about this shit. God damn it, that's all I talk about. <laughs> right? And so, so I don't really have a side, although sometimes it appears that I have a side. But I don't have a side. I know some people think, oh, you're on the side of the left. But not really. I fight mostly on the side of the right. But the fact is, I fight for the middle. Okay? I fight for that, the, 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 the middle part where the pendulum keeps swinging over. The animals on the farm that chase, chase the bad guys off the farm. Okay? Chase them out. Let them get, get through that hedge without getting bit. That's who I fight for. That's who I try to talk for. And sometimes, you know, sometimes, yeah, I mean, what else can you do but hope that, you could hope that a massive wave of, 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 uh, of clarity sweeps over America and that everybody sees it for what it is. Okay? Everybody sees it for what it is. And what is it? It's a deeply corrupted, broken, greedy system that doesn't, doesn't, sat, doesn't work for the people anymore. And that's what we're fighting for. That's what the animals, the animals work hard. They put their head down. I'm willing to work. I'll work harder. I'll work more. I'll work better. You look at that one over there. He's not working. <laughs> look at him. He's not working. It's like... Uh, it's like the Pink Floyd, you know. And that one's Jewish, and that one's a queer. Who let all this riffraff into the room? <laughs> There's one smoking a joint. Right? Get him up against the wall. Get him up against the wall. Right? A lot of vendors. I'm down here in Soho. That's the thing about New York. You walk in any direction. If you don't like where you are, just walk five minutes and the whole the whole atmosphere changes <sighs> so this way, this way. ah music uh oh music music you gotta talk over the music so you don't get that strike it's crazy man youtube if you ever see a commercial i don't get any commercials <laughs> it's long demonetized but if you ever see a commercial on this channel lately it's uh that means i got a copyright somebody hijacked me they stick their, their music came, comes through and then they, they, um, and then they get the money. <laughs> they make money on your, on your clicks. So anyway, it's a, it's a wild world. It's going to get interesting. I think the, the, the bar, the bar investigation is very interesting. It's very, it should be very revealing, but how are the sheep in the middle going to handle it? shouldn't be getting excited we shouldn't be getting excited unless we see the rewards and locking people up is not the reward right it's it's just a that's just that's just icing on the cake that's just like the that's just like the shit show that's the show oh yeah Comey 
gonna do five to life, ten to life. Oh shit, he's he's fucked, right? Indicted. Right, it's great, it's wonderful. I mean, if it even happens, I mean, I still, again, I said it a long time ago, I don't think any of it will. But the point is that it's nice to put fire under their feet. And that's good, but that's not the sole purpose of the fight. The sole purpose is to relinquish power to the people. And how do you do that when you have one side who is diametrically opposed to the other side? And acts the same exact way once they seize power. You see the dilemma? See, it's not a, it's not a, a Trump issue. It's not a Hillary Clinton issue or a, you know, it's not, a, it's not, no, no one side, no Republican, no Democrat. It's in the middle, right? It's the, in the independent majority of this country that see it. And always see it. They're just not arguing back and forth like we are. Well, you are anyway. I just, I'm the referee, right? I'm officially the referee in this. So, uh, Marcus Conti re reporting on the progress, I guess, of Russiagate and um, the state of the state of Jones's farm. Free Julian Assange now. Very important. Anybody who anybody who 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 doesn't see that or 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 doesn't get that 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 guy is instrumental, he holds the key to Russiagate. He knows more than anyone that who started what Russia Gates, how it started. He's whoa, he's the one who knew. He's the one who who, who received the the goods from from the leaker, who we had a conversation with. The 32, 32 page email chain, fifteen page fifteen page or fifteen emails, thirty two page chain. Seth Rich, Julian Assange, come clean on that, Julian Assange. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no, there's no honor in, in holding that down. Reveal the source. Go on record. Reveal it now. Say it. Say it now. And save yourself before they, before they bury you even further. Okay? We're all the same. I am Julian Assange. You are Julian Assange. I am not Trump. You are not Trump. None of us are Hillary Clinton. And that would be the greatest prize of all. Oh, Hillary Clinton. Oh, in orange, in orange, in an orange jumpsuit. Coming out of jail. Oh, who would love to see that more than anybody? But what does it do? How does it, how does it get, how does it get Americans health care for all? How does it, um, how does it get money out of politics and, and diffuse the income and wealth inequality problem in this country? How does it get the homeless people off the street? How does it fix the immigration problem? How does it? Uh, how does it get people in 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 col How does it get pe get people out of college debt? How does it get the IRS from stealing people's money? <laughs> uh, student loans that follow you to the grave. How does any of that change? Because Hillary Clinton gets locked up. Because you think the st the new the new guard the new swamp is going to fight for you just fundamentally delusional really when you think about it when you really think about it we're animals on the farm stuck on the farm Marcus Conti reporting